Hello everyone. First of all, thanks to Heather for allowing me to uh, participate by sending you this video. I'm actually teaching at the same time that you're um, in the module changes meetings. So thank you in advance for uh, listening to this. The proposals I'm making are for seven different sexual health modules. One of them is sexual health skills, a level six module, and the other six are all doubled up at level six and seven. So that's the two HIV modules, two promoting sexual health and two contemporary issues in sexual health. Most of them have all got the same change recommendations, even though I had to do the forms a million times over for each and every one of them. The reason why all this has come about is because our numbers in sexual health have been dwindling over the last few years. I was fortunate enough to make a presentation on this at the All Party Parliamentary Group for Sexual and Reproductive Health back in 2017 in the House of Lords. Uh, did I mention that one? Okay, but I did. And the numbers have been falling ever since, so it has been a bit of a problem. And that means that for some of the modules, there are terms when they can't even run, and that's causing additional uh, distress to us then, because it's some students need to do them as part of their top-up BSc ons in professional practice. So if they don't run in one particular year, it really means it's delaying the students. So the idea I came up with originated from the HIV modules. That's the blended learning one. So this is the one with the biggest change. It was blended learning, meaning some days on campus and some days uh, with asynchronous learning online. So I used to carry my laptop into the classroom with me and a tripod and camera, plug it all in, and it means I had some students from Jersey and some from Germany as well participating in this, and some at different places around the UK. So I'd have my laptop and the camera there, all the students would gather around, and it means that we could welcome in those who couldn't be in the class with us. So the big change I'm asking for you there is um, that when we talk about blended learning, that blended means live online teaching sessions now instead of on campus. But to leave that possibility open there on the forms, just in case in the future, maybe we will go back into the classroom for some people to be there, but still to invite others in on their webcams during the same sessions. So that's one of the biggest change. The only other changes I'm requesting are for all the other courses because most of those are only written down for one MO um, as, as a Moodle site. So it could be that they're only listed in September or they're only listed in January. Now I'm making a request that they run in both those terms, please. So the reasons why. By taking the camera and laptop into the classroom really encouraged students to take part in this. So I've now had permission to develop a brand new Moodle site and it's a non-banner site so it's listed as NB1213. That site is called Integrating Sexual Health and that's our online community for shared learning practice. So basically even if I've only got one or two students per module on any of the different modules I can still run it with low numbers because the learning uh, just happens asynchronously. Every Monday morning, I'll release the learning to them so the students access it when they want throughout the week. But rather than them chat to other students on the forum sites on those particular modules, I've put the forum sites all onto this new non-banner site. So we gather there as a community. So whether we've got ones or twos across however many little modules, that doesn't matter because we're all meeting on the one integrated site to share our learning. On the integrated site, it means I've got students from the different sexual health modules, no matter how low those numbers are, but also inviting in the students who are doing their dissertations in sexual health as part of the BSc professional practice, and also students doing anything on sexual health in the top of MA, in the MSc advanced clinical practice, and any doctoral researchers. So anyone doing anything sexual health at all are all welcome to go on to this integrating sexual health site. So rather than do the classroom teaching with the HIV course, I'm now putting it on online instead, but doing it on the integrated site so that everybody else can participate. And if you look at the themes over the various weeks of uh, the integrated site, it's just picking up some of the key themes that run across all the others. So they go onto their individual Moodle sites for the week's learning, share that with us, 
and then top it up by, by, by looking at some wider aspects. For example, talking about sexual health or stigmas, which are going to be different all according to which module they're on. So now it means we've got this whole community of practice together. The one final thing, another benefit for them all as well, is that the HIV students, for their assignments, they have to do um, a live online presentation, like a conference presentation of about 15 minutes. So on the integrated site, you'll notice right down towards the end, there is the opportunity for the online uh, presentations. So the HIV students have to do this as their summative assessment, but now I'm asking all the other students to do a formative presentation, um, just telling us all about what types of assignments they've done on their courses, what the assignments are about, how they found them, and uh, anything else they want to share with us. So some of them have to do the presentations, others are doing it as a formative part of their development. But it's really building up a great community. And even with sexual health skills at the moment, where I've got a couple of students on there who are doing the generic BSc in professional practice, they've now said that yes, they do want to do their dissertations next year in sexual health. And can they come back to this site, please? So it is building up an ongoing community. And I think this is going to be a really great selling point for us. So the changes I'm asking you for, for blended learning on the HIV course, to mean at the moment, um, live online teaching sessions rather than on campus but with the option of that coming back in the future and for all modules to be listed to have a Moodle site in January and uh, September terms please. Okay thank you for listening, bye.